In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to extrude a NURBS curve, and specifically in this one, a circle, along a NURBS curve in order to make an extruded tube. So in order to do this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a NURBS primitive circle, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees in X. And then I'm going to move it up and out of the way. I'm then going to create an EP curve, or I'm going to create a curve using the EP curve tool. I'm just going to make a very simple curve in my side view. I'm now going to make sure that my circle is on my curve. This isn't necessary, but it just makes it a little bit easier to deal with by moving my circle towards this curve and then holding down the C key for snap to curve and placing it near the beginning of the curve. I'm now going to, with my curve, my circle selected, I'm going to select the path. This is our profile curve. This is the path we want to extrude along. I'm going to come up to surfaces and choose extrude to extrude my circle along this path. Now, when doing this, you'll notice that it did not follow along the path. It did follow the same shape, but because my circle wasn't facing the, it wasn't, it was tilted 90 degrees in X and not let's say 95 or 97 whatever however this curve is starting to arc up it didn't follow on the path it kind of started off where the circle was and followed how the path would but starting from this angle instead of the curves angle so in order to fix this I can go over here to my extrude one and set fixed path to be on or one you'll notice that now this sticks to the path one of the cool things that I can do with this now is if I select my circle, I can change the size of my extruded tube. Or I can come into the curve that I used to create this. And I'll hit F9 to get to my control vertices. So you have to be careful with your selection here. Make sure that you're getting the curve and not. If you're getting the, the surface, you can select both with a marquee selection and then control click. Seems I'm having just a little bit of trouble getting to my CVs here, so let's come out here. Make sure we're back in F8. And now I'll select my CVs. Okay, here we go. And so now I can move around this curve and I can change my surface over time. And notice how when I get close here, the surface is kind of shrinking through itself, so you want to be careful of that. You can also go in and add detail. In this case, I'm just going to move my surface out of the way a little bit. I'm going to select my curve, and if I choose to grab my curve points, notice how I can click on here. I'm holding down shift to add multiple points. It puts these little yellow dots in. If I come under edit curves, I can choose to insert a knot, which then inserts additional detail into my surface. And You can see here where the detail I added was kind of close one to the other. So I could also come into here and I can choose to rebuild my curve. All of this has gone over in our lesson on curves. And I can choose the number of spans and tell it to be uniform. So if I said I wanted 12 and I hit apply, it changes where all of these knots are or all of these edit points are on my curve. It uniformly puts 12 of them around and it also uniformly put 12 different isoparms on my surface down here and we can double check that by coming back to object mode opening up our attribute editor and we can see here that I now have 12 spans going across V instead of my what I originally had if I try to rebuild this curve again let's make sure we open up our option box I'll choose 15 and hit apply we now have 15 spans over here. So having this construction history is very So when we're done, we can just make sure that this is going to stay put by going up to Edit and choosing Delete by Type History. This will make sure that it's detached from these two curves, and we can delete these and our object will be left behind.